Hey Danny, thank you so much for reaching out. So this Springdale behind me is the 2021 that I was telling you about on the phone. It's the one we'll start with and then we'll move on to the 2018 Heartland. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you a bit. All right, let me zoom out, zoom out here. There we go. All right, so just to kind of start, so all of our units, pre-owned or new for that matter, um, do include propane tanks filled and battery. So this one here, you can see it's got the um, power tongue jack here. My brain is not working this morning, haven't had enough coffee, bear with me. All right, and as we move around, you've got your storage here. Now I do wanna mention as we're looking around, so both of these units here, and all of ours for the matter, have not been through a detail process yet, but they will. So we don't put them through the detail process before they get put on the inventory lot for several different reasons, but it is an advantage to you because that way you get to see exactly how they were traded in. This one does have the cord reel that's actually built in, which is kind of a nice feature there. Um, being a Keystone product, it's gonna have not one, not two of these flaps here. But if you can see, kind of, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't. Um, but there are three of those flaps. And what that does is that just ensures um, that all of the debris, the water, everything is taken off of this fiberglass right here. So when it slides in and closes, it's going to take all that debris off and just make sure that everything is smooth, even, and nothing gets caught up in there. So move around the back. You've got your spare tire here. Now the story behind this particular trailer, so this wasn't my trade in, but I did get to meet the folks that traded it in. They did purchase it from us and traded it in about three months later. The reason being, the story behind that, it was a mother and her daughter, I think if I recall correctly, I want to say she was kind of that early teenager. And um, they were planning on full-time living in this. Now they were, inexperienced in the RV world and thought that this would be a wonderful trailer and they were just going to be hunky-dory in here and lo and behold they kind of discovered that full-time living mother and daughter they needed a little bit of separation either a separated bedroom or a separated bunk room something and um so that was primarily the reason they traded it in they did buy from us they bought a fifth wheel that has a separate bunk room and a separate bedroom and give everybody their space so I'm just kind of showing you around in here. It does have the full size bed here. You've got your wardrobe space back in here. Now all of the Keystone products are gonna come with a one year basic bumper to bumper and a three year structural warranty. Now both of those warranties, unlike some companies, are transferable. So this particular RV is actually still gonna be covered under some of those warranties by the purchase date that they originally bought it. A couple of these are add-ons here. This shoe rack is something that they had. Um, I do want to show you under here some extra storage. And then they included these hooks up here. I think they did actually a, a fabulous job. It looks almost like Factory did that. And they have the TV bracket there. Um, all right, let me turn this way here. Now this one does have a slide out. This is the slide right here. It's your dining area that also turns into a bed if you do need the extra room. And then you've got your um, drawers down here. Now this is pretty much the only damage to the unit being it is a pre-owned. I always try to be very real in my videos, show you the goods, the bads, the uglies, what's great with it, all of that good stuff. Um, and then of course all of our units go through 130 point inspection. So you can rest assured that all the appliances from the AC, the AC is gonna be cleaned. Like I said, they did full time live in it. It hasn't been cleaned yet will get all cleaned up everything will make sure it's all still working and then you'll get a tech walk with one of our experts to go through the unit um, make sure show you everything's working answer any questions you might have and that's everything from how to dump the holding tanks how to turn on the lights open the slides um, turn on the stove I mean because it's got burners here everything so I'm just kind of showing you around here. Now this is another thing they added here. So under here, if I can remember how to do this, yep. That just folds right down. They did add that. So that's kind of a nifty little feature. You've got your medicine cabinet here. They added the little plastic box there just to give themselves some extra room. And originally it did just have a um, regular plastic curtain here, but they added this pretty nifty little shower curtain. It pulls out like, Oh, let's see. It does slip out of the round. There we go. 
So when you pull it straight, it stays in the rung there. And it just adds, it is a little bit, but it is better than the typical shower curtain. If you didn't like it, you could always take it off really easily. But it adds just more of a door style rather than the shower curtain. So that's kind of nice. Um, the one thing I do want to mention with this unit is it does not include an oven. I don't know how important that is to you. If you would do a lot of cooking in the oven, you do still have your microwave up top and then you've got your um, stove top right here in your sink. All right. And then just to kind of cover on the outside, it does have the solid steps right here that fold up into it. And then the big awning with the LED lights underneath. The door shuts here. There's that three year warranty I was talking about. And all of that pow is power. The, um, the awnings power, the lights of power, the slide outs power, all that good stuff. So again, this is the 2021 Keystone Springdale. This is a 1760 bunkhouse and it is 19.9. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, this is going to be the 2018 Trail, Trail Runner by Heartland. You can see it has an extra propane tank here, and it does still have the power tongue jack right there. All right, now this one when it came in, um, so this one's history, it did come from the oil field, from some construction workers. It came in pretty rough. Now that's where we step in and give that 130 point inspection. We went ahead and got to work on this one a little bit early, so I can already tell you some of the stuff that has been done. It's still going to go through the full detail, so it is dirty. Please don't worry about that. Um, but the reason it is the price it is for so much more trailer is because they knew it needed a lot of work done. We picked these up pretty cheap. We put a lot of work into them to get them where they are and get them road ready, which does include new tires on them. Um, I know it has a new uh, water pump on it. I'm trying to think of everything without having the notes in my hand. Still has the power cord reel here. I'm sorry, it's not power, but does have the cord reel here which is kind of nice always like not having to tote those around <laughs> this one um, is going to have the ladder in the back and is prepped for a backup camera has the outdoor shower right here Let me pan that down which is dirty like i said but all that be cleaned up all right so this is the outside of it um now i will say on this one the awning is a little bit rough so now we could always go ahead and add on an extra awning, but that would obviously not be included in the cost. We have put quite a bit into this. Um, we're trying to make it a reasonable trailer for everybody that needs something a little bit larger like this and needs something that they can afford. So this one does have the um, power stabilizer jacks where the other one did not. Like I said, brand new tires. Still see the tags on it there. We did put those on. All right, sorry about that. So my video actually cut off because I ran out of room on my phone and then I had customers come in for delivery. So we're back out. Let me try to pick up where I left off. I think I mentioned the awning already. Um, you can see there's some light coming through. So I know that awning is not gonna be perfect. Um, let me get this unlocked. It does have brand new steps on it. I don't know if I went over that. This bottom step was um, not in perfect condition, so. Goodness gracious. There we go. Okay. So now we're opened up. Let me open that. All right. And we'll come inside. And this door is going to shut behind me. I know it's going to want to. There we go. Okay. All right. So over here, we'll start with the bedroom to the right. So this does need to be repaired. Um, it is part of the repairs we are doing. So rest assured that will be fixed. Um, I think we're still waiting on some lights and stuff to come in for these two lights here. But little things like that, that's all part of the 130 point that we've already started doing. So we'll make sure that that gets done. You've got your solid doors here. This is definitely going to be an aftermarket mattress, I can tell, because of how tight it is right here. Um, and it does have the storage underneath with the hydraulic lift on it so that it holds it up for you. You can see I did that with one hand too make it a lot easier um, down it slides right down all right 
So here you have your entertainment center with your radio. It's got Bluetooth on it. A little cabinet space under there. Now I will say right here, the rug is a little messed up. You can kind of see it's frayed right in there. You've got your couch that does pull out into a bed. It's kind of a jackknife type. Or no, this isn't jackknife. I think this is the trifold. Yeah, this is a trifold. Right? And so here, there's a couple pieces of trim that still need to be put up. That's what you're seeing right here. Otherwise, this dinette is in good condition, except for it's got some wear and tear down here. Okay? So you can kind of see that. Um, they actually still have the bags over over that so they did try to keep it nice all right let's go to the kitchen here so kitchen i don't think they ever cooked to be really really honest with you because even when it came in the stove was pretty clean um even the microwave we haven't cleaned it yet like i don't know if these yeah i think he went over to the neighbor's camper and they ate there all the time or something because it doesn't look like they ever hardly use this kitchen and then you've got your refrigerator Thing there freezer right we'll move on back here so before I get to the bag I do want to say there's this extra storage cabinet here with lots of space hopefully that does justice for how deep it is because it goes all the way back all the way through there right you've got your bathroom here they are working on some of this wiring and stuff here, so you can see that big old mess. Um, but we'll get that all taken care of and fixed up there. You do have a actual tub, but it's still got a reasonable height and size to it if you are a little bit taller. Right, and then lastly the bunk room. So they did um, replace this wall because there was a hole in it. So that's where that trim that you saw before is coming from. Obviously, they're still not done on it, as you can see, but um, like I said, that's all going to be put back, and the trim's going to be put back and everything there. Um, now, as far as reinstalling these, these are kind of how they were in here. They're loose. This print um, originally just went against this wall right here, and then this used to have kind of a double bunk system. This is how it was given to us, so it's not going to include that double bunk system. Kind of what you see is what you get here. But what I would do is maybe utilize that and put it back right there. But just clean out this space, put in a dresser or something, and just give yourself more space to utilize back here with the bunk room. And then you've got your bed here to sleep on. It does have an AC vent here, so this is going to be its second AC vent, which is really nice because you know this room is always going to stay cool and get airflow there and it does have this sliding door for uh, privacy as well so this is that 2018 trail runner by heartland and this one is right about 19,800 and some change just let me know if you like one of these and which one you like best and some feedback you can reach me at my cell it's 830-385-2474